Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to insert the beads into the eyelid pattern in between of the pearl stitches. Here is how it looks like. For this purpose, we need the knitting needles, the yarn, the nail polish, and the beads. So let's get started. It is better to use colorless nail varnish. Let's smear the thread with the varnish this way and let it dry up. We do it in order to make our thread firm, in order to twist it this way and make it possible to pass it through. And let the thread dry up during 10 minutes cut the edge this way in order to make it smooth take the beads and strain the beads onto the thread now we are straining the beads onto the thread this way We have just stringed the necessary quantity of beads onto the thread. Let's wrap it and then we are going to cast on. Cast on the number of stitches at your discretion. We have just cast it on the stitches with this pattern and let's do the first row. Slip the edge stitch and knit all the stitches till the end of the row. Knit all the stitches. And purl the last edge stitch, then turn the work to the wrong side and now we are going to insert the beads in between of the stitches. Slip the edge stitch 
then move on the bead to the stitch and purl one here you can see the bead is in between of the stitches again move on the bead to the stitch and purl one again again move on the bead and purl one and so on so on we continue to purl stitches and insert the beads in between of the stitches there is nothing complicated in it continue the same way move on the bead and purl one move on the bead and purl the stitch And pearl the last edge stitch then turn the work and do the next row slip the edge stitch and knit all the stitches of this row we simply knit all the stitches till the end of this row Pearl the last edge stitch. Then turn the work to the wrong side. This is the pearl stitches row. Here you can see it. And now we are going to pearl this row. Slip the edge stitch purl one then move on the bead to the stitch again purl one again move on the bead to the stitch and again purl one move on the bead to the stitch and purl one move on the bead purl one move on the bead purl one and so we continue till the end of the row and so we repeat further and further as many rows as we need to work the necessary length of our texture We insert the beads on the wrong side in between of the pearl stitches. So we have just knitted 
this texture and here you can see the result this is the net stitches side and this is the pearl stitches side if you like this click like visit my channel subscribe i wish you all good goodbye hello today i'm going to show you how to knit the honeycomb stitch pattern to work this pattern you need to cast on even number of stitches it is dense and soft the fabric is double layered which makes it warmer and this pattern is well suited for hats and scarves let's begin the first row the first row is the preparation row so the pattern repeats from the second till the fifth row slip the edge stitch the first row and work the following way knit one then do yarn over and slip the next stitch purl wise again knit one yarn over and slip one work like this till the end of the row knit one yarn over slip one 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 and purl the last stitch to complete the row it is the preparation row turn the work and let's do the second row the following way slip the edge stitch knit the next stitch and the yarn over together then do yarn over and slip the next stitch purl wise then repeat knit a stitch with the yarn over together then yarn over and slip the next stitch continue the same knit two stitches together then yarn over and slip the next stitch and work like this till the end of the row knit a stitch with the yarn over together then yarn over and slip the next stitch again knit two stitches together then yarn over and slip the next stitch again knit two stitches together then yarn over and slip the next stitch knit two stitches together yarn over slip the next stitch and purl the last edge stitch turn the work and let's do the third row slip the edge stitch and now knit a stitch do not work with the yarn overs yet slip the yarn over and knit the next two stitches one two again slip the yarn over and knit the next two stitches one two again slip the yarn over and knit two one two slip the yarn over knit two work like this till the end of this row slip the yarn over knit two one two slip the yarn over and on the end of the row knit one and purl the last edge stitch we have just completed row three now turn the work and begin row four row four slip the edge stitch then do yarn over and slip the next stitch then knit a stitch with the yarn over together again do yarn over, slip the next stitch, then knit the next stitch and the yarn over together. Work like this till the end of the row. Yarn over, slip one, knit two stitches together. Yarn over, slip one, knit two stitches together. Yarn over, slip one, knit two stitches together. And purl the last edge stitch to complete the row. Now turn the work and begin row five. Row five, slip the edge stitch, then knit two stitches. And slip the yarn over pearlwise. Repeat, knit two stitches and slip the yarn over pearlwise. Continue the same till the end of the row. Knit two, slip the yarn over. Knit two, slip the yarn over. Knit two, slip the yarn over. 
need to sleep the Anova. Need to sleep the Anova and pearl the last edge stitch. I remind you that the first row was the preparation row. Pattern repeats from the second to the fifth row. So we work the sixth row the same way as the second one and the seventh row the same way as the third one and so on. If you like this, click like, subscribe, visit my channel. I wish you all good. Goodbye.